meteorologist Stacy May. Well, the rain amounts have certainly lightened up and become more and more scattered and spotty over the past couple of days compared to what we had late last week. But the clouds and those spotty showers just don't want to let us go. But almost they're going to be uh, completely out of the tri-state. Real quick, let's look at the numbers for our Monday. We did get another 12 hundredths of an inch of precipitation at the airport in Evansville, just over a tenth. We started at a warm 68 this morning for our low and then finished right on our normal high this afternoon of 77 with a little more sun mixing in tomorrow I think we'll go a couple of degrees warmer than that and some of us may even touch 80 81 degrees but good news is brighter skies are certainly on the way tomorrow's kind of our transition day to much better weather so we do still have to watch out for some patchy fog could be dense in some spots developing overnight and into your Tuesday morning so check with Ron on daybreak. That'll start at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. He'll let you know if we have any dense fog and he'll be watching those visibilities tomorrow morning. A cold front moves through tomorrow, so that's finally going to take these clouds and spotty showers east of the tri-state, but as that moves through, can't rule out a very isolated shower from it. Otherwise, we'll be turning less humid tomorrow afternoon as that cold front moves through, and then once we get that through, we'll clear skies out tomorrow night. Lots of sunshine starting Wednesday, lasting through the weekend. And with that drop in the humidity, we'll have some warm afternoons that feel pretty good. And then some cool, uh, pretty comfortable nights, maybe even uh, a little chilly. I'll show you that in a second. But live Doppler radar now quiet. Those spotty showers have again ended for us this evening. Here's our Bill Morgan roofing and construction camera showing the blue lights reflecting off the Blue Bridge on the Ohio River in downtown. Owensboro, and here we look from downtown Evansville, top of the Fifth Third Bank building from our tour C camera. So we're down to 68 now. We finally fell out of the 70s, but look where the dew point is 66. So they're pretty close. Wind is now calm, and if we get some breaks in the clouds, we could certainly see uh, some patchy fog develop as we go through tonight. And we're just going to drop a little bit more with these temperatures, mid 60s for your overnight lows. Here's Storm Tracker showing the clouds, but again, any breaks will start to allow more low clouds and even some fog developing overnight. And Future Tracker shows that. We have the breaks uh, as we go into the overnight hours, but then kind of filling back in with, again, some fog potential. Then tomorrow, though, we'll see clouds, but a little more sun should mix in with those clouds. Cold front, though, could spark an isolated shower or two, so we'll keep that chance in the forecast for one more day. Uh, but again, a little brighter tomorrow and turning less humid, and then we get those clouds out of here tomorrow night. And there it is, Wednesday. Plenty of sunshine, finally, from start to finish. So overnight tonight, we'll have some clouds, but also some patchy fog. Could be dense in some spots, mid-60s for your lows. Clouds, some sun tomorrow, isolated showers still possible, turning less humid though in the afternoon with a bit warmer high in the upper 70s to near 80. Then we're cooler Wednesday behind that front, sunshine and low 70s. Check out those morning lows Wednesday morning, Thursday morning. I've dropped them a degree or two into the upper 40s. That's what I was talking about, a little chilly. Then we warm up to the upper 50s for lows for the rest of the week through the weekend into early next week. That's pretty comfortable. And those uh, highs are going to be around 80 into the lower 80s. And look at that, sunshine from Wednesday all the way through next Monday, guys. Yeah, that sounds great. Thanks, Stacy. Still ahead tonight, Israeli ground